Hi Blender fans, I got a request from a guy called Julian to create a particular hard surface model. You can see it here. He also wants to cut a rectangular hole into the model, which I will do using my free fast carve add-on. So let's get started. First I will add a simple plane. And then I move it upwards, like this. Then I switch to edit mode and use edge selection. I select this edge here and press E to extrude out a new face. Then a second one and constrain it to the Y axis. Then again extrude, this is the front part. So what I do here is to create the base mesh, the basic shape, by just extruding these edges. Here the last one and I enable the screencast keys so that you can see which keys I'm actually pressing. I move this here a bit to the right and then downwards and I think we can go with that. The next step is to select these edges and press Ctrl B for beveling so that I can create these round edges. Then I move the mouse wheel slightly to increase the number of edges for the bevels. Ok, this looks nice. Now I switch to object mode and add a solidify modifier to the object. With this modifier I can add thickness and I also check this checkbox even thickness so that it is the same all over the model. In object mode I move the object a bit upwards and in edit mode I select this edge and bring it down by pressing the G key. Ok, I'm quite happy now with this base mesh. But I have to apply the solidify modifier. Because I need the resulting mesh now to select these edges to again create some bevels for the corners. These corners have to be round, so I press Ctrl B to add bevels and again I move the mouse wheel slightly to add more edges to these bevels. Alright, this looks really good and now comes the magic of my fast carve add-on. I added the link to the description below, it is completely for free. First I add a cube and this will be a kind of cutter object that I use to cut a hole into the front part of my mesh. Bring it to the position where I want to cut into the object and I also rotate it so that it is perpendicular to the faces that I want to cut. I scaled the object in object mode, so don't forget to apply the scale. Ok, now I have the position, rotation and the size of my cutter object, but the edges should be rounded, so I select these four edges and again add bevels. Alright, now select the fast carve tab of the fast carve add-on and define the new object that we created as the target. Then select the cutter object, enable apply immediately and press difference. And when you move the cutter away you can see the hole that we created. It's just a difference boolean operation but using the fast carve add-on makes this really simple. After that I choose bevel object and decrease the width of the bevel modifier that is added by this operation to make the edges look really crisp. And that's basically it, now if you like you can go ahead and add a cycles material to the model and I'm using the principled BSDF shader for this with a darker tone, a bit of specularity and roughness. And here we go, now press F12 to render this. So here's the result, I hope you guys and especially Julian like it and if you do don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I uploaded the blend file to my Patreon and you can download it for free. 
If you want to support me, please be my patron. This would really help this channel grow. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for your support. And come back soon to JNN.